Hey guys, got a quick video here for you. This one's been requested a fair bit and it's how to edit the hosts file inside Windows 7 or replace the hosts file in Windows 7. Now this may have been become corrupted or it may have been attacked by malware or you just may want to edit it and you're having permissions issues and I'm going to show you how to get around that. It's pretty straightforward. So here we have some files up on the desktop here which I'll be using as well. I'll show you some different methods of going about it if you want simplicity as well. So let's get started. So go into my computer and what we want to do, the easiest way to get to it is by typing etc up the top here and doing a search on it. And it will take us to this folder which is in uh, Windows System32 and Drivers and there you can see it there. As soon as you click in there you'll see the actual hosts file that's located there. So if you did want to actually go through the motions you can still do that as well by going into Windows and System32 and then go down to drivers and then etc and there we have the same location now we need to take um, ownership of this file okay the host file because it won't allow us to edit it now there's numerous different ways of going about this okay you can um, take ownership of this file by right clicking on it and having take ownership and I'll show you how to do that as well or you can change the permissions by going to security edit uh, and here and taking full control of that file and folder okay so let me show you the take ownership adding that to the right click context menu and I'll show you that it's a registry edit and all you need to do is just run this file and it will put that onto your right click context menu and all you need to do anytime you want to take ownership of anything you can right click and take ownership of that folder which will give you full rights for it okay so that's that one also we have a bat file here which is actually to take permissions and if you have a look at this file this will give you permissions to everyone for that host file and all you need to do is run this file and it will give you full permission on that host file okay that's the most easiest ways I would say of going about editing it so let's go back to our host file so we'll just run the take ownership part as well which will now allow us to open and edit this file so if I open this inside notepad here another way of doing it in notepad is uh, running notepad as administrator and open it in that way I won't bother showing you that way but um, you just need to open it up now and as you can see we now can edit our hosts file now if you wanted to block a particular website you would actually use this IP here okay so this IP you would use just straighten it up and then what you would do is put the location or the uh, actual site so if I put bbc.co.uk like so this will now block that website if I save this file and I'll go to go to that location if I type BBC inside here and try to open this up it will block it okay and this is what malware does and stuff like that not that I want to block that site but I'm just showing you that's how you can edit it so let's remove this so it's a good place to check now it may be a case that this is now having issues and you may want to delete this so now you can delete it if you wanted to it's now gone there's a couple of ways of going about it you may be able to use one that's already pre-made and I'll open this one up and show you and these are freely available on malware removal sites or my forum um, but basically yeah these are pretty much um, pre-made uh, host files or you can actually use programs something similar to this okay and as soon as you open it this is called OS expert uh, from funky toad and you'll see that it says the host file does not exist click OK and it will now create this uh, host file for you and that's pretty much it so all you need to do is once that's done if you go back to 
this location you can see it's now put the hosts file back inside there for us like so and that's how you edit and replace host files that have been corrupted or changed um, by malware anyway I hope this has been a quick video so I hope it's helped you out my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoy these videos please remember guys hit that subscribe button share support also rate and favorite all my videos if you enjoy them and also and I'll be making more videos in the future now, if you've got any requests like these guys did and you want me to make a quick video on it then send me a message and I'll try and do my best to make those videos for you okay so thanks again for watching bye for now